Hey there fellow explorers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story. Episode 70, Southwest Search. Okay, so uh, they're both good weight and this you will probably be pregnant soon. Um, or alternatively, uh, go after known resources like zinc and lead that I actually have found. I just haven't uh, spent the time to go exploit them. So, uh, what materials to to search for? Um, yes. So, prospecting, silver, gold, salt, or mining, zinc, lead. Yeah, just zinc and lead. So the, the benefit of lead is it has it allows for horizontal windows that are different from the slab windows that might look a little bit more attractive and I could spruce up the base. And zinc would allow me to make uh, torch holders, which is a way to have torches that don't burn out. Uh, you can make man-made torch holders out of zinc, uh, like these. So the brass torch holders are made out of zinc and copper. So with zinc, I can make brass to make into torch holders. It's a lot of labor and lanterns are better, but there are some situations where you want torches because torches um, allow you to have a, a fire source close by, which is uh, pretty nice. For forges and the like. Or uh, silver gold salt, which is for materials that I don't have yet, which would be incredibly useful to have for lined lanterns or um, or preserving foods or making cheese or just a lot of other things. So in terms of all the... Uh, yeah. That, that would be the big ones. Also, um, including in that would be anthracite. In the prospecting. So I do have one... I do have an anthracite spot here. Which has p potential of anthracite. And then I've gotten some prospectings as a potential for gold. You guys can choose what to search for, whether it's gold and silver or anthracite or salt. I'm not sure that I have ever prospected salt before. And a lot of my prospecting nodes are older and not the new types. And I, I know that for the new types of prospecting, I've never hit salt. So that's something to do. So specifically, what material to go for? Salt, silver, gold, or um, I'm just going to call it coal to lump in all of the coals together or other. Other, the only other that I myself opinion would think would be interest, uh, useful to ha have would be uh, uh, Peridotite. That would be the only other that I would really be looking for, as that is an ingredient um, 
that is an ingredient for steel making. Uh, it's just hard to find. Well, but that would that that would be the other the only other that I'd be like, oh man, I really want that. I love hammers that just do the work for me, right? It's, honestly, it's just beautiful. It's probably hot enough. Black Bronze Chains is one of the very best armors. Uh, no? Why would... Uh, curious what your your argument for that is. I mean, it, it, I guess it really depends what you want out of armor. Do you want protection? Do you want move speed? Do you want a hybrid of the two? Hey, Raw, the stream goes pretty well. Other than uh, a little bit of a falling death early on that was uh, honestly perfectly avoidable and, and totally my fault, all's well. How's it going for you, dude? It's funny that there's snow coming down from the drive shaft to this spot here. And look at me, I'm actually making copper plates and not something wrong. I, I know how weird that is. All right, so with this other lantern, we can illuminate both halves of this ranch equally. No, actually I might want it here because that will illuminate the hallway and the ranch pretty effectively. Yeah, so I think I think I think it's uh it's illuminated. Oh wow, they ate a lot. Is pregnant. Oh, it happened quick. That happened quick. So much glorious light. Yes, light is glorious. Now, if anyone knows of a time that I have prospected um, salt, do share. I don't. Rec I, I. I have a vague memory of prospecting salt once, but I don't know where it was. But it looks like that's going to win in the polls, and I, I'm not sure where to even start looking for that. Where do I want this lantern? Maybe I'll um. Maybe I'll just have like a super well illuminated smithy here to make sure that the drifters aren't drifting around here. Oh, you know what I could do? All right, I'm gonna leave these in place where they were. I'm gonna put one up in the windmill. Because that's a very sensible spot for one. It's 
So the last one, this one, will become my personal one. But uh, this lantern going up the windmill. It'll just be nice to have like a, a light up there anyway, as a makeshift lighthouse. How far do I think I can see the light from this if I put it up here? Oh, pretty far. All right, I clearly need to have a lot more caution going down this ladder because, uh... <laughs> well, yeah, enough said. Thank you, Hellhammer. You were amazing. Just chef's kiss. Making those plates myself would have taken like an hour. Health hammering it, like, a fifth of the time. I can never manage to put these on correctly the first time. I'm, like, allergic to doing it right. It's it's my kryptonite. Because I don't like to hear the, s the smashing and because I don't have a clutch, uh, I'll just remove it like that. Alright, so we're going to try to search for salt. Inbreeding is not a thing in the game, so I don't need to worry about inbred, uh, yeah, inbred sheep. There's not a, not a concept of inbreeding. So I'm going to quickly peruse the prospecting points that I have for, uh, salt. But I don't believe, I think, I don't know, a part of me thinks I've, like, found a prospecting hint of salt before. But then part of me is like, uh, maybe, maybe I haven't. Maybe I'm mis misremembering. Because I, I also play on a, my own test realm too. So I could be confusing what I've done in the test realm with what I've done on stream and not know the difference. Oh, that always freaks me out. The idle animation for arms. The other thing is I could do, uh, yeah, I've never found salt with the new system because it would be included, halite would be included in that drop down. Or sylvite. So I'm going to go and say I've never found salt. Uh, what direction to explore for salt? Here you go. I am as clueless as you are. Um, one thing I will say in terms of the... Whoa, game. In terms of the geography, uh, east has some... East is hard to traverse. North has some mountains, which might be good, but also hard to traverse. West and south is flatter, but might not have uh, what I'm looking for. Not that I have any any idea, but like if I was to make a guess, I would say as easy as it is to traverse. Well, I don't I don't know. I, I have no idea. So before I leave, I'm going to check the pit traps and then uh, top up some food bowls because I might be gone a while. And then also probably grab some ladders, make some extra ladders and because and, if I'm doing... Um, if I get a, a hint of salt, I'm going to want to probably dig down for it. But I might be gone a while from from the base. I might I might uh I'll I'll probably also Oh. Sorry, Mr. Salmon. You died, didn't you? The lake froze and you froze in it. Literally not any food. <laughs> Um, the other thing is I might want to move the lar the extra large trough if I haven't trapped anything. 
I can see a rooster right there. And a bunny. Like, there are animals right here that just aren't falling for the trap. Yeah, that are not falling for the trap. Yeah, there's literally a rooster. And a ch chicken. Or the, I guess that was a bunny. So I've, I've built it in the right area. It's only a matter of time until they get hungry and they get themselves trapped. But, uh, but when that happens, I don't know. All right, let's prepare to, to depart. And it looks like I might be going maybe south, southwest, out in that direction. <laughs> outro music. <laughs> I've been actually changing the intro outro music to the Arctic Winds. Because it's way less likely that I get Arctic Wind music uh, where I live here. Alright, three meals. Let's go with that's enough. It's probably not, but... Let's assume it is. Yo! Rude. You want food? Don't hit me. Oh, you know, uh, actually, because I don't have chickens. Hit me. I might as well just give them access to both sides. Can they even walk over there? I I'll I'll adjust the uh, the troughs so that they're not like a mood bear a move movement barrier. You saw a head poking through? Is there a critter outside? Oh! Whoa! Uh, the bound you to that... That ram just is outside right now. So, uh... One minute. Little detour. I can double the amount of milk I get by just sticking that thing on the other side. I like it. Good eyes, everyone in chat. Good eyes. That, that, oh, yeah. That's unfortunate. There we go. Um, how do I want to do this? Peace, peace. No. Nope. You want food? Don't try to murder me. Bad. Bad. <laughs> sorry. I'm not really sorry, but, you know, I can pretend to be. A little larger on this side. Oops. Oh, sliding. No, don't don't climb it. Don't climb it. No, I know I know you're capable of climbing it, but don't. Stop it. Stop.
Quit resisting. Actually, it's not... As long as I clean this, this, this up, I don't... I don't not... I, I like this little, like, cutout, I suppose. So I, I'm going to leave this in on purpose. Give them a little sunshine or something. I don't know. We could pretend. Uh, I do need more fence pieces. So I ran out. Any others around here? I think that was it. All right, and then we'll replace the uh, the, the ground with uh, dirt. Cool, and and top up the troughs. Keep in mind, creatures need lighter. They despawn. Uh, yeah, I mean, they have light, so. They have bright light right above them. And some sunlight. I, I don't think they're at risk of despawning. Lamp light counts, yeah, exactly. That's why I had them illuminated. This is gonna hurt. Actually, they somehow didn't ram me. I was really expecting them to like completely smash into me, but they didn't. Uh, I might want one more trough if I'm um, departing for a while because I don't want them to go hungry. That would be a really dumb way. I'm actually gonna just to make sure because it only only cost me pine planks, which is cheap as hell. I'm going to make two extra troughs and fill them completely up full of food. They wouldn't die so much as like... Well, I don't want them to be hungry. Ideally, oh, okay, good. They already ate all this. I was going to say, ideally, I would want it right next to the fence so that they can't kill me or fight me. And there we go. And then I put a space in between so that when I, if I want to separate this out for chickens on one half, and sheep on the other, I can do that. So eight, yeah, they have 32 portions of food. They're pretty good. Looks like I'm going uh, southwest for my search. And I will do one last trap check before I head southwest. Also looks like I'm gonna do a lot of the exploration at night, but it doesn't really matter because I'm just prospecting. I don't I, I have no idea where Halite is, so I'll be prospecting until I get a hint of Halite. In my test realm, I did find that um very quickly I was able to use the new reed traps and pit traps to trap bunnies and chickens so I'm actually rather surprised that this trap has done nothing for me the 
despite the fact that I've like visibly seen roosters close to it. That's the way it is. All right, search for salt. And I'm very happy that I got another U for free. That's um, that's why you go for the rams, because when rams spawn, they um. The way the game works is like the females are bound to the males. So if you capture the male, the females usually follow. So uh, with that said, if I was patient, um, what probably would have happened is after capturing the ram, the other two U's would have, maybe not the one I got. I'm not sure if the ram I captured was bound to both females. It's possible, I think. Um, but obviously, case in point is, if I just waited, um, that other you would have wandered over and it'd been a lot easier to capture. Oh, don't forget the ladders. Uh, uh I can make them out of sticks. I, I did forget the ladders, but I'll just collect sticks while I'm out here. That and I can always, um... It's not necessary for me to to have a vertical pit shaft anyway. I can have a horizontal one. Just uh, checking for meteors. I I am really gonna regret using up a, a bunch of sticks for ladders. I'll, I'll probably do. I'll just probably do vertical step pit shafts. So, uh, how lucky would it be if salt was in my own backyard? <laughs> I don't think this is going to be salt, but I might as well start getting prospecting hits. Considerite? A little bit of hematite. I mean, I wouldn't start a... Uh, oh, hello. Free gear? Don't mind if I do. It never hurts just to come down into easily accessible caves, because you might find something like sulfur or saltpeter or, you know, who knows, right? But but certain fertilizers like saltpeter, uh, you can't prospect for. Prospecting picks, actually, if you mouse over it, detects, does not detect uh, surface copper quartz, rock salt, or lapis lazuli. So there's some things that, like, your prospecting pick won't help you with, and I believe uh, potash, saltpeter, um, gemstones, that kind of stuff, it doesn't help with at all. So if, uh, you know, if you're hoping to find that kind of stuff, you're going to have to do a little caving anyway. One of the other advantages to heading really far southwest is it might be possible, if we're lucky, to start to find, um, oh, hello, start to find creatures that we haven't seen before, because I might be going outside of my, the frequently um, traversed zone. So if we get far enough away from the base, we might see some deer and, and goat. I'm also going to kill all the bighorn ram because I, I know I need... I wouldn't mind the... Oh, I'm not going after you. Wait, how are you alive? What? No, uh, I think I just watched it die. Never mind. I lied. I'm going to go after it. Can't deny me my meat. Ladders would have been nice. Oh man, it is really down there, isn't it? You know, okay, fine. You win, Ram. But I will prospect here. But yeah, the extra animal fat will be, oops, will be useful for when uh, I am trying to get a pulverizer. Because that would be the last mechanism that requires fat. Either that or, like, more rotors. 
because I'm I could already have a, a second rotor for the mechanical power. Oh, I just keep finding flax. I should just dig up all the immature flax. It's not like I'm ever going to happen upon this again and get, get as many flax seeds as I can. This is a rather arbitrary interval, but yeah, why not? It has zinc. A decent amount of native copper, too. More chickens. We're rather far from the base, but I'll mark it down anyway. They're easier to transport. Like if it was a large creature, I wouldn't bother. Because it'd be a lot of running to try to get a large creature back to the base for domestication, but chickens fit very nicely into reed baskets. So the other way, there's there's kind of two ways to find salt. One is just to prospect for it, um, which doesn't require tons of travel, but it requires a bit of luck to happen upon um, salt that way. Another one, which is requires less luck, but a lot more travel, is to travel very far south where it starts to get hot and to find somewhere that has um, that has really low um, really low rainfall count and is you know a hot temperature and to find a dry lake bed because dry lake beds will have salt well that's a lot of native copper probably a giant copper vein deep underneath where I just prospected. So the terrain's getting a little ragged here. I think heading south is going to be easier. And then west. Do I need to mark that spot? No. It's automatic now. Um, version 1.19 allows you to automatically mark things down. So then I can also filter it. So here is every native copper prospecting that I've ever done since the 1.19. And I can filter for like, oh, show me the Cassiterite or show me the Cinnabar or show me the gold. Oh, apparently I have a, a minuscule amounts of gold prospect. Show me silver. So you don't have to write them down anymore. This is a feature of the latest update. This is weird. I filtered for silver, but I don't have any marks of silver. I thought it wouldn't populate. Eh, maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, the new filtering method is um, is pretty awesome. It allows you to, uh, to very easily track. Very clearly there's, uh, there's roosters around me, but... Oh, hello. Produce fat, please. Man, you are a runner.
there's a lot of chickens around here, so I'll mark this area down too. Because if it's ever, if you guys vote on like, hey, you really should get chickens, I can always come back here and do just that. Although the terrain kind of sucks for pit traps, because it's not flat at all. You wish they had a, a option for changing icon for auto marking? That'd be cool. I'm just happy that the feature exists at all, and then it's because it exists at all, it uh -huh. becomes relatively easy for modders to then modify the way the prospecting filters work. So that it can be custom tailored to people's desires. He burns. I know I'm pretty close to the original mark. It's an open rock face. Might as well. Very high native copper. Holy moly. 20, almost 24 parts per milli, or parts per thousand. That is the most, the richest area for a metal I've ever seen. So far in game, I think. Ultra high. Yep, we're 24.08. Well, it's not... It's parts per thousand, but still. Like, a thousand blocks, 24 of a thousand blocks is quite a lot of blocks of copper. So if I ever want to mass produce copper lanterns or something else made of copper, like maybe copper... Um, copper pieces for... Uh, for chests and crates and the like, uh, here would be a rather good spot to look. And it's still pretty high over here, too. Not quite as high. Obviously, I would go to the... I would prospect around the highest point, do a little search pattern around it <clears throat> to see if there's any that are even higher. Yeah, shoots and hoppers, and also distilling, uh, distillery, a still, takes tons and tons of copper. The the shoots and hoppers don't take too much if you don't have a giant shoot and hopper system, right? Like, it takes maybe like four plates, which is not obscene, but um, a copper still takes like 12 plates or something. I'm not exactly sure how many it takes, but it takes quite a lot. However, you probably only ever need one still. It's not like you're going to make like five of them. Unless you're going crazy. But who am I to judge? If you want to go crazy and make five of them. Have at it. Start your own brewery. That's more of like a multiplayer goal, I'd say. At 24%, it's eventually worth digging the mine. Sh oh, but only if you need the copper, right? I might I might never really need that much copper. It really depends on goals and voting. So if I never need an insane amount of copper. And, and that said, the high availability does not necessarily mean it's going to be high quality. Right? So it could be a giant vein of low-quality copper. Um, that's entirely feasible. And in my opinion, it wouldn't really be worth exploiting if that was the case. Low-quality veins, unless you're desperate for whatever material they have, uh, generally aren't worth the effort. Because they have such crummy yield. Well, no salt so far, but I'll keep I'll keep searching. I knew I was going to be out this a while. Salt's a rather rare thing to find. I wish it was more common. 
I also wish that you could, um... I wish there was such a thing as a salt, like, desalination distillation. Right? To... I mean, the game doesn't really have a concept of oceans, but... Well, I guess it does, sort of. But yeah, it'd be cool if there was an, a concept of, like, salinity in water. So there was fresh water, brackish water, and salt water. And that you could use brackish and salt water to produce salts by uh, boiling it or something. It's distilling it. I mean, they have a... Oh, Jesus. I did not want to be part of the Ram Convention. They took issue with my murdering them. Great. All three of them ganged up on me and then just disappeared. What are you, part of a, a Ram gang? Fine. Keep your fat. In my night. Right, where'd you go? I've a I've a bone to pick. Where where where'd this ram attack go? They like pinned me to a corner, rammed me, and then just bolted. Oh, I hear you. I at least want to pay back one of them. There we go. Fat. See, it was worth it. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 18th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch you in next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Seraphs.